My strength is our Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Well, we're going to jump into the second part of the perfect storm today. And we're going to have to answer the question, why do we go through? Why do we go through all of these a perfect storms? Well, stay tuned for that answer uh, today. And if you didn't get a chance to see part one, don't worry. Right now, I have a couple of highlights for you. Take a look at this. when you get that perfect storm in your life. The type of storm that has all of the elements to completely devastate your life. What will you turn to to be your anchor when, not if, but when that perfect storm blows into your life? feeling devastated go down on your knees do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God now these words bring such comfort for me but you have to believe you have to believe that God is who he says he is you have to believe that Jesus is our salvation. You have to believe that he died on the cross for us. You have to believe that he will never leave you or forsake you. You gotta believe that he is our strength during our weakness. You gotta believe that there is nothing you can do that will separate his love now, if you did not have an opportunity to look at uh, the first part of The Perfect Storm, I encourage you this moment to stop that video. I would love for you to see the first part before you take a look at this part. I did receive messages, uh, 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 blessings with calls um, of people that were really encouraged by the first video where God blessed them with it. And I pray that you will take a look at it and that he uses it to bless you as well. Well, we're going to go ahead and, and get started. We're going to open up with our prayer and then we're going to jump right into answering that question, why do we go through? Dear Heavenly Father, we love you this day. We thank you so very much for who you are. We thank you for being the great I am, for being everything that we need for you to be. Father, everyone that falls under the sound of my voice, I pray that you remove all of this pain and suffering or help them, Father, to deal with the pain and suffering that they have. Father, help them, those that are crying out in pain to you, Father, to hear your voice. Father, encourage them as only you know how, Father, to never give up and not to use any of those anchors that are not of you, Father. Father, these situations, these storms are much bigger than we are, and we cannot conquer them alone. Father, we thank you for your perfect peace, Father, in all of our circumstances, Father. Father, and we 
pray this day that we are able to give you all of our pain and sufferings, the suffering that we go through because of these perfect storms. Father, we pray for you to cleanse our hearts, Father, and renew our spirits. We love you, Father. We adore you, Father. In your darling son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. With our limited human wisdom, we can't begin to understand the complexity of our God. And you know, we won't always understand the hows or the why these, uh, the perfect storms blow into our lives. But make no mistake about it. God orchestrates every single event that comes into our lives. I mean, nothing moves without his permission. Nothing can speak without his permission. So whatever your perfect storm just understand that everything has to go through him to get to you. The perfect storm. Why do we go through? You know, I started thinking about this thing and I, I thought back to the time before I really knew who Jesus was, before I knew him for myself. And I, I think through all of the perfect storms that I've gone through and I ask myself if I had the opportunity would I go back and do them all over again Whew! I really had to think about that one well when I look over my life yes the question would be yes the answer I'm sorry would be yes I would go through them and do them all over again because I must say that these perfect storms in my life have been very beneficial for me. Let me, let, let me tell you a couple of reasons why I feel they have been beneficial for my life. and Because I really think that you can relate to this. And those that may not have gone through your perfect storm, I think that this is something that you can look forward to. One of the first reasons how, uh, why I think that uh, the perfect storms have been beneficial is because they have given me the opportunity to actually trust God. It gave me the opportunity to learn how to trust God when there was no one else and nothing for me to turn to. I can't help but to think back to the story of Job because I think that it is an excellent example of how you how we are to trust God according to the Bible Job lost his family to a mighty wind very painful boils took over his health and his wealth went to war and fire now with all of this God never told God why all of this was happening to him God didn't even speak a word when Job's friends made those accusations. It's a great story. So when you have an opportunity, go ahead and take a look at Job. Because he is a great example of how we are to trust God no matter what our circumstance look like. No matter what's going on in our life, lives. It's a great example of how we are to trust him and not waver in that trust. Well, that was one, one reason. It has given me an opportunity to learn how to uh, trust God. You know, uh, when I've come out of my those perfect storms and I look back over them and I remember the pain I was in when I was in them. And I remember trying God and how he came through for me. That's when my trust in him really began to build. And I haven't looked back since. So I think that several of you can relate that it builds your trust. Every time you go through a perfect storm, it helps you to become uh, closer to God and 
to trust him more and more with the situations um, in our lives. Um, another reason why I feel that this storm, these perfect storms are beneficial for me, for my life, is because they build, um, it has built a prayer life with God with me. The more, I mean, let me, let me, let me say this. I remember a time in my life when I had to pray at maybe a meeting or I had to, uh, God was urging me to, uh, nudging me to pray for someone that maybe told me their situation, whether we were on the phone or if I was in the store and I came across someone and they were telling me that they were having a difficult difficult time and they were sharing their situation with me and you guys know I was so fearful when it came to praying you know I was one of those people that was caught up in where my prayer don't sound like this person or it doesn't rhyme and you know I, at the time I didn't realize that you know that doesn't matter if it's rhyming God does not care about that he only cares about you speaking to him from the heart but I tell you the more uh, a perfect storms I had to go through the more I had to pray and you know the more I had to pray the more God was giving me the confidence that I needed um, the more that fear that I had of praying started to leave so now when I when I pray um, and I call on the name Jesus there's this little confidence that you hear behind my tone there's this confidence that you hear that when Satan hears it he has to take a couple of steps back there's this confidence behind my tone when I call on the name Jesus when I pray that makes doors open it makes my situation change it heals my body. It wipes my tears. It's something behind when I say the name Jesus now because of those perfect storms that makes me get up off my knees and know without a doubt that no matter what my situation is, no matter what it looks like, because I called on the name Jesus and because of those perfect storms that I've gone through where God, where Jesus proved to me that he has everything under control. It makes me know that everything is going to be all right. <laughs> I know I talk a lot. I may have to cut some of this out. But um, I just had to tell you that. So we're going to keep it moving. I also believe that the perfect storm helps me grow spiritually. It has helped me to grow spiritually. If you follow my, uh, if you've listened to my previous videos, you know that I have told you about uh, starting off with five minutes. Well, previously when I would spend time with God, I mean, you know how we are. We try to think of everything that we need to do outside of spending time with God within the 24 hours in the day. I mean, I had to watch television. I had to cook. I had to go somewhere. I had to find clothes. I had to go shop. I had to do everything. But finally, you know, those perfect storms stopped me dead in my tracks. And after that, I mean, I didn't really need to watch television anymore. The only thing I needed to do was pray. But I did start off with five minutes and... From there, I kept building that time. Before I knew it, as I was going through my perfect storms, I went from 5 minutes to 15 minutes, and then 30 minutes. And you know, guys, before I knew it, I ended up with a full hour. First thing in the morning at 4 a.m., I have to give him that time. Even if I'm not, it's not about going through a perfect storm now, because right now, even if I'm not in a perfect storm, he's been so good to me until... My time with him has to be there first thing in the morning. I have to read my word when I get up. I have to pray to him when I get up. I have to meditate with, um, with him when on his word, excuse me, when I get up. I have to praise his name. I have to tell him every morning how much I love him. I have to thank him for seeing fit to wake me up that morning so spiritually it has really grown me i have gotten to a point to where i have visions and i didn't before but it seems like the, the closer i've gotten to him 
the more he's giving me. Um, so I have visions where he wakes me up in the middle of the night and I'm able to see things um, within my room. It's different things that are so vivid. It just blows my mind. But that all came from, I believe, these perfect storms that I've gone through, which led me to spend more time with him, which led him to show me more in the spiritual realm, shall I say. So... It, the perfect storm has been very beneficial for me. Um, also, not only has it helped me to grow spiritually, but these perfect storms that I've gone through. And you wait, before I go there, I also want to say that if you follow in my steps or if God gives you another way with your perfect storm, I, with your perfect storms, I believe that your relationship would grow with him as well. Also, these perfect storms have helped me to help others. God will get the glory when you give your testimony. I have given a testimony on my channel and I have given uh, different testimonies in church. And I believe that through these perfect storms, the more we go through perfect storms, the more beneficial we are to others when they go through their perfect storm. So it has really helped me to help others. And when sharing our testimony, it gives the other person that is going through those perfect storms, um, uh, it helps them with their faith. It helps them to know that if you have gone through that situation that they're currently going through, then they can go through it and make it just like you can. And it's going to go back to giving God his glory. Because just think if, um, I'm just thinking back to when God has led me, led a person to tell me about their situation. And in doing so, he had me to share with them something that I've gone through, a perfect storm or just one of those many storms. And it so encouraged the other person. It really encouraged the other person to make it through what they were going through. Now, this is what, um, what I found the Apostle Paul had in mind when he wrote this. I'm reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 through 4. It reads, Blessed be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any, who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. So in other words, we need each other. Amen. Amen. As Christians, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we most definitely need to comfort each other. And as you can see here, this is one of this would be one of the purposes of us going through some of our trials and tribulations and having a testimony to help others out. These storms have also helped me to gain wisdom. I have gained wisdom in knowing that God really is omnipotent. He is everything. He can do all things, no matter what it is. The wisdom I've gained has also helped me to understand that God is omniscient. He has complete and unlimited knowledge. This wisdom I've gained has also helped me to understand that he's omnipresent. He is everywhere we need for him to be. He is everywhere at all times. Now, that can really blow your mind. James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4 says, count in all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. 
You know, it seems like the more wisdom I gain, the more I understand how to handle my situations. I remember when I was very, very young and I went through certain things and it was very difficult for me to handle these situations the right way. I mean, uh, without the wisdom, well, having the lack of wisdom, I would turn to other things outside of turning to God and understanding at that time that he was my everything and he was always right there waiting on me to understand that. So throughout my uh, A Perfect Storms, I have gained so much. My life has become, has benefited from um, all of these, of course, perfect storms. And if you've started going through your perfect storms, I'm sure that your life has benefited from it as well. And if you haven't started your perfect storm, I can guarantee you that your life will change. Um, either you're going to turn towards God or you're going to turn away from God. But I do pray this day that you do not turn to those anchors that are not of God. I pray that you turn to God and allow your relationship with God to start to build, to start to flourish the way that God wants it to, the way that God um, created us to be. Um, I love you this day and I thank you so very much for watching. Um, stay tuned because God has placed on my heart for another perfect storm. He wants me to talk about how we should handle these perfect storms. And of course, when God, when we go through things in our lives, he always places what we need in his word, in his words. He always gives us guidance. So in the third A Perfect Storm, we're going to talk about how we should handle these perfect storms. So stay tuned until next time. And um, like I said earlier, we don't always know exactly why we're going through a perfect storm, but embrace what it is that you're going through, turn to God, cry out to God, pray to God, and understand that it too shall pass. Understand that he is there and that like Job, we may not always know exactly why that perfect storm is happening, is blowing into our lives, but like Job, we need to just trust that God has our situation under control no matter what it looks like on the outside, know that he always has our situation under control and all we need to do is trust him. Can you imagine if uh, Job just cursed God and died? Can you imagine if he didn't just hang in there and no matter what his situation looked like, looked like if he just gave up on God? So stay tuned. I will be getting that out to you very soon um, on how we are to handle these um, a perfect storm. Until next time, be blessed.